Tailgate Kings here, 1130, hitting it up, going through the NFL schedule, breaking down games. Like I said, we already broke down the Saints, the Niners, the Packers. Now we're going to move on to the, te- the Titans, who were almost in the Super Bowl last year. These are my Tennessee Titans, guys, and um, I'm not – I don't know, man. Like, I, It's the hardest team for me to root for. Like Every year I feel like I want them to win, and then like they're just going to let me down. Um, we're sitting here. I got – I'm looking at the hard, four hardest games. Dude, I've got two back-to-back games um, for my four hardest. Looking at week 11, week 12 at Baltimore, and then at Indianapolis, and then week 16 and week 17 at Green Bay and at Houston. I mean, the, the, I feel like at this point the Titans' goose could be cooked. It doesn't matter what they're doing up until week 10, how they're looking in the division. Look, we know what happened last year in Baltimore where they took out Baltimore in the playoffs, that Lamar Jackson-led team that everybody thought was going to be the second coming. The Titans went in there and dismantled the Ravens, um, surprising everybody. I feel like this is going to be a revenge game, and I don't know if the Titans are going to be ready for it at Baltimore um, to take on this, uh, this Lamar Jackson team. I could be wrong. There could be enough tape out there now on Lamar Jackson that they know how to contain him. Obviously, the Titans figured it out in the playoff game. I just got to believe that John Harbaugh is going to be cooking stuff up in the offseason right now. Uh, to, to get Lamar Jackson even more uh, more passing lanes and whatnot and more running lanes to not get hit. That guy just had a phenomenal year last year. Then, obviously, Jay, we've been talking about the Colts, man, how, uh, how good the Colts could look this year, how well they've looked. You could argue they were a playoff team last year. It could have been a deep run in the playoff team if Andrew Luck hadn't decided to retire right before the season began. Bringing in Phillip Rivers, you, you and Chad, both big Phillip Rivers crush boys. So – Philip Rivers goes on there and can perform. In I'm one of his 34 children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if Philip Rivers can go in there and do something, that game in Indianapolis, especially because I mean, gosh, I didn't even notice it. It's Indianapolis, Baltimore, Indianapolis. Like that's just that's just not that's a horrible stretch right there for the Titans. Three in a row. Right Are you there. worried about at all about Denver to start the season? Or, no. No, not really. I'm not. I, I, honestly, I would be if it was later in the season. I don't know how much, you know, like we're talking about how much you're going to get OTAs, how much preseason time you're going to get. I don't know what Drew Locke's going to look like at quarterback to start, right. to start the season. Right, but then you go three through six. That's a pretty rough stretch. Three through six. Minnesota, Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Houston. It's, it's, it's not great. I, w- I, I prefer that we've got Pittsburgh and Buffalo at home, you know. I mean, I'm not expecting to win all these games. Mm, this, is, this is a tough schedule too, dude. It you is. Guys, you guys are back against the wall. Indy, Baltimore, Indy. I mean, Cleveland could improve. Jacksonville's is going to stink. Detroit stinks. Uh, Green Bay, Houston. This is yeah, like you, said, you fifth, guys. You guys have a tough schedule. You know, we, we could easily miss the playoffs this season. Yeah, this you could. You know, I mean, you I'm, could. I'm, I'm, I have no illusions of that. Like I said, but if we're going to make the playoffs, I feel it comes down to 11, 12, 16, 17, Baltimore, Indy, Green Bay, you and Houston. Four, you have four games that I think you should absolutely, without question, win. The rest are. Open. You know, look, we, we should beat Houston at home, you know, week yes, six. Yes, you should. But you know, Jay, we'll talk about, you know, that, that Pittsburgh Tennessee matchup week four. That's going to be a really interesting game. It's going to be, I think it's going to come down to what Big Ben looks like, honestly, you know. But um, I, right now, like I so I'm pulling my money out on that one. I'm going to go ahead and like seed week three. I'm going to give the, the win to Minnesota. I mean, that could be a big game. Tight at Minnesota. Surprise, that's that, but, that's yeah, I'm, tough. But I'm going to give the win to Minnie. So, you know, I mean, I'm looking at it. You're I, at Denver, at Minnie. In two of the first three weeks, you get I, Jacksonville's sandwich in I, there. I feel like the Titans start three and three after six weeks. They're in good shape, you know. Yeah, but, I agree with that. But if they're three and three, and then they lose, you know, at Baltimore, at Indy, at Green Bay, at Houston, it ain't gonna matter. So, those are my big games. Well, what, you got you got Cincinnati and Chicago in there right after your bye. I said to get you know. One. So if you can if you can get Houston in week six, take the bye, get and then you get Cincy and Chicago before you have to make that tough stretch there, and then you get Cleveland, depending, and Jacksonville again, Detroit. It, it could work out. Like I said, you know, we're right, we're right, right, on, it our way, work out. right on our way back to 9-7, and seven, baby. That's where, hey. that's where we live, 9-7. and seven. All right. If you're in the playoffs, that's all that matters. Casey, am I missing any games on, on, on my schedule? What do you think? Uh, no, my four games I had written down were uh, Vikings Week 3 and then Colts, Ravens, Colts. All right, yeah, pretty much. You know, like so that Colts Raiden Colts stretch is going to be tougher. I didn't even see that it was Colts on the on the top yeah, side. I think I think ar- ar- arguably and maybe not even close. That might be the toughest three three week stretch in the entire league this year, and it might not even be close. Ooh. Finishing actually, this, you know what? I'll I'll disagree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Disagree <laughs> because it's actually more of a four week stretch. But right in that stretch, uh, the AFC South is a fascinating division, right? 
It is. Uh, what do the Titans have? The Titans have the Titans play the Colts, right? Yeah. And who do they play? The Ravens. Yeah. Then they play the Colts again. Mm -hmm. And that same stretch during the week before, the Colts play the Ravens, the Titans, the Packers, the Titans. <laughs> That's <laughs> great. Which, which is perhaps the toughest month of any football schedule. I, I think the AFC South has a uh, – it's daunting. Uh, uh, I, I don't think any team in the AFC South has a great schedule. They all have tough schedules. The toughest schedule is definitely the Colts because right in the meaty middle of theirs, they get the toughest four or five games right in a row. Um, the Titans are, are, are only second where they have – Three games in a row. Um, I, I agree with this. I think the Packers-Titans game at the end of the season will, will have a lot to say about whether both teams, um, where they stand in the playoffs or if they even make the playoffs. I don't have the Titans or the Packers winning their division. Uh, right. Yeah, uh, and amazing. I know they're, you know, one's AFC and one's NFC, but I think that game's going to determine for each of those teams whether or not they're in the playoffs or not. I think this is where they edge in or out of the playoffs. And since they play each other in the next to last week of the season, next to last game of the season, it's really going to – that game is really going to determine a lot. I, I, I agree the Vikings in week three and then in week uh, uh, 16 or 17, depending on how you look at it, uh, that Titans-Packers game is going to be huge as well. Yeah, and you finish the season on the road with the Packers and the Texans. That's why I said 16-17. That's, rough, dude. Yeah, that's no, rough. The Texans is like a home game nowadays. Uh, especially, <laughs> I think they'll be booing O'Brien if he's still there. He's, he'll be fired. Well, the that. Texans have had our number for some reason. We can't beat Deshaun Watson. Even last season, I think they, they beat us both games maybe or something. They, so well, now, he, now he's playing without his number one receiver, so I don't know. Well, they brought in uh, Brandon Cooks. Anyways, <laughs> not, not equal. And Randall Cobb.